What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here with another review video. This time it's on the Walmart exclusive Transformers Vintage G1 Soundwave. So I believe that's the name that they're going with is the Transformers Vintage G1 Soundwave. Now this is showing up at, uh, you know, Walmart stores, you know, brick and mortar uh, Walmart stores and uh, I looked online and it's not available online if you want to like pre-order or you know reserve it whatever so you kind of just have to go to Walmart stores I went and I you know this guy was there but um, he does retail for $50 now uh, besides you know uh, Soundwave here being released there's also a there's two there's two of the two pack of cassettes that are also being released that my Walmart did not have and one of them has frenzy and laser beak and then the other one has rumble and savage but uh, so I still need to find those guys and then hopefully I find them and I could do a review video for you guys but uh, you know this is really nice I, I love this is of course a reissue of the first generation of Soundwave which released back in the day in 1984 through 1986 and and you know the original Soundwave was actually called cassette man uh, and and that was released under the I think that was Takara under the name of micro change before there was uh, Transformers and it was kind of crazy because you know on the actual little window here where the cassettes go it would say cassette man or it would have MC-10 you know MC being micro change but I, I love the box you know, I, I, I kind of, this is obviously from Hasbro, but I kind of wish they would do this with the Star Wars, you know, retro collection and just, you know, release it with the same card back. Don't do anything crazy. Don't add any stickers because this right here, this is really nice. You know, they didn't, they didn't give it that age treatment where it looks like it's been, you know, in storage for years or they didn't slap a sticker, you know, a huge old round sticker on there saying vintage, you know, G1. So I, I, I really love the box. It's really nice. There you got, uh, you know, Soundwave and it's cassette mode. And then, of course, you have one cassette right there of Buzzsaw. And like I said, I really love the box. It's just, you know, it's that homage to obviously the way it was released back in the day. Uh, on the top there, you have kind of like instructions on how to, uh, you know, transform Soundwave from cassette mode to robot mode. And then, you know, on the side, you have this kind of like art there of, you know, uh, Soundwave in both modes. And then, of course, you have buzzsaw uh the same pictures on the other side and then on the back which is really nice just how it was back in the day you have that beautiful art there and then of course you have the bio cards of you know Soundwave and then buzzsaw and then you have their stats there which is kind of cool but this is really nice i love it so uh let's go ahead and open this up and check out this guy here so obviously it comes in a tray uh so you have all the pieces oh no one of the rockets is moving there we go so i'll go ahead and put that guy off to the side and so here you have the tray and then at the bottom here you do have the uh you know the instruction manual there so you have the instructions which is kind of interesting because um <clears throat> You know, back in the day when 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 this was released back in 1984, 1986, uh, these stickers right here with the trapezoid kind of shape, uh, there was an error on the instruction manual that actually told kids that the sticker was supposed to go on the legs. Uh, so let me see if they did that. Yep. So there they go. So here's sticker number one. Uh, and it's telling you to go ahead and put it right there on the side. But actually, these stickers were meant to go onto the battery packs of Soundwave, uh, which were, uh, which is these guys right here, the two little battery packs, which are the, uh, you know, uh, the concussion blaster and then the, the rocket launcher or what, whatnot. But yeah, that's crazy that they kept it the same. I love that. So that's kind of cool. I, I got to give uh, props to, to uh, Hasbro for, for paying, you know, little details like that. But yeah, those stickers were not supposed to go on his leg and i'll show you an example so see there's a picture of you know sound wave and obviously you know the eyes on the cartoons were red but you know for the for the toy they, they came out in yellow but as you can see those stickers are not there they were actually meant to go onto the battery pack so that's kind of cool uh so everything's nicely secured so let me go ahead and uh free out this this uh sound wave and then we could take a look a closer look at this action figure 
All right, guys, so there he is out of the clamshell, and here is Soundwave in his cassette mode, which is really nice. Uh, so, you know, just how it was released, you have kind of like the uh, volume knob there on the side, and then you have a power button. They don't really do anything, they're just there for aesthetics, and it, just like the uh, play button, the fast forward, record, and stop button. The only actual functioning button is the uh, eject button where you would insert your uh, cassette, so that is really cool and it works really well so no issues there and so here's uh buzzsaw in his uh, cassette you know configuration and so it fits really nice only one could fit of course and you know there it is really nice no issues no jam ups so that is really cool uh so other than that you pretty much you know on the back side you do have kind of like a belt clip there so you know if all the kids want to rock their new sound wave they could attach it to their belt and then actually this is the battery pack so if you slide this door down you could put these uh batteries which is actually the uh the blasters you could put them inside they sit really nice there and then i think that's kind of backwards there we go and then you could just go ahead and close the door and no issues there so there you go you can store the blasters inside the back where the batteries will go so that is really cool uh so other than that i mean i think it's got some good weight it's not too heavy mostly it's plastic but i've noticed that there is some die cast and that's at you know actually at the feet of uh you know sound wave which is really good and then for the accessories you do get like the two batteries were which are you know the actual blasters uh so this one extends here and then you get three of these little rockets and so you could just insert them right there and then there is like his rocket launcher uh but you know with these guys there's no firing mechanism you know when hasbro started taking them uh were, were importing them uh they removed the firing mechanism so these don't have firing mechanisms that little button right there is just pretty much to release it and that's it so you have that and then of course this is the uh shoulder uh blaster that goes right oops actually goes right there so uh other accessories of course you have buzzsaw and then you do have his two uh like thrusters right here so let me go ahead and transform them so it's pretty much easy uh you just remove his uh not remove but you know expand his wings out uh lower his feet there and then you just slide out the head all the way uh to the end there and then you could just kind of you know uh swing out his head and then it just have some kind of uh movement there so it could swivel or straight down so which is really nice and then of course you know you have the uh thrusters that kind of just sit right there really nice uh and and there it is there is buzzsaw so that is really cool i love that that is really nice so you can have him kind of straight out like he's flying or you know just chilling right there so that is really cool and then for this guy uh really easy to transform you just move out his legs and then you rotate him forward and then down here you just flip out the uh the feet and these are actually die cast which is good because actually it's gonna uh, uh, give him some weight at the bottom where he needs it so he's not all like floppy and stuff and then of course the arms you just swing out and then here you'll see like there's a little switch there to uh bring out his uh hands so you just you know flip that down and then of course at the head you just kind of lift it up and then rotate and then his shoulder blaster fits right here let's see there he goes and then of course you put his blaster right at his hand bam and there he is that is really cool i love it i mean that is really really awesome i've i've been wanting to get a a, a, a g1 like an original sound wave but man it's hard to get one minty and and you know if if there are minty it's already graded in a box by afa but uh you know this is kind of like the best thing the next best best thing and, and and i really love it and i believe you could probably just straighten out his arms there and then put uh you know buzzsaw right there and that is cool and that's how probably i'm going to display them just like that and then the rest of the cassettes i kind of just want to put it like around him and then maybe one inside but there he is that looks really dope i i, I really love it i mean that is a really cool figure like i said 
this guy is worth it man 50 bucks i mean it's a little high could have been maybe 40 dollars but you know what to, to get an original one that's yeah, really cool obviously none of the stickers uh all the stickers are still here so i haven't applied them yet so i'll have fun doing that later on but there he is i mean there is Soundwave, and and so this is pretty pretty cool looking so uh yeah man once i get those other cassettes those other two packs i mean i'll definitely do a video on those guys because i, I i'm definitely a huge fan of these micro cassettes you know what i mean so uh they're, i think they're really cool so that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to share that like i said they're starting to pop up on uh, at, at you know at walmart store so if you're looking to get one i would say go ahead check out your walmart store and then see if they're in there but uh i know they're coming out all over the states and like i said here in texas this is where i got them so that's pretty much it thanks for watching thanks for uh the support if you have subscribed subscribe i try to upload content every week for you guys and i will talk to you in the next video